Good evening, MTCC. Welcome to our virtual prayer meeting. This is very different from our usual monthly prayer meeting, and uh, but praise God that we can meet virtually, and praise God for His uh, providence and even this uh, this uh, platform where this prayer meeting can continue. And uh, and also it's very encouraging for us as MPCC that. Um, we have uh, initiated this call to pray and our cell groups are praying from the 19th of April and also our Filipino ministry and the Shine Youths have been praying and this will continue till the 31st of May. And this is very encouraging for us that in this time of circuit breaker, we are one body and we are praying together as one church. So indeed, this is very encouraging for us, for us to hear and us to know that yes, people are praying for this time. And now let me uh, share with you of how this uh, prayer meeting is going to be. Um, I'll start with the, with the opening prayer, followed by um, the praise led by Jared. And after that, there'll be prayer points shared. And uh, after every, after the sharing of every Pray point, there will be a time given for us to pray wherever we are at. So, and we can pray uh, during that time and there will be background music playing. So that's the time when we pray. After that, um, after that time is given, there will be a closing prayer. And that, and that will lead to another pray point and someone else will come. And Pastor Sreena will also join us in prayer. She will also lead us into the items to pray tonight. So let us prepare our hearts and let us prepare our minds as we pray and ask God to intercede along with us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you uh, this evening and we ask of you, Lord, to come and be with us. Help us, Lord, at this time to pray to look to you and uh, would you come and uh, help us a lot to really search our hearts and help us a lot to align our hearts to you a lot would you forgive us of our, our sins would you help us to uh, to really bring the things that are not right lord to you a lot so that we will indeed a lot our lives will be made right with you. Help us to um, really um, come before you, Lord, with reverence, with awe of who you are in our lives. Help us, Lord. And would you lead us to pray? Lead us as we uh, pray different uh, prayer points, Lord, the requests that we have, Lord. I pray, Lord, that in all these things, Lord, may your Holy Spirit come and touch us. Would you come and um, yes, Lord, and ignite in us, Lord, the passion, passion and a desire, Lord, to seek you and to come before you, Lord, with humbleness and with reverence, Lord. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I would like to ask Jared to lead us in a time of praise. Hi Church, welcome to prayer meeting this Wednesday. Thank you for gathering with us here tonight to come for a time of prayer. So I'll be leading us through some songs today. Pastor Emmanuel will be taking on the prayer portion after this. So let's go into a time of prayer before praise. Dear Lord Father, thank you for gathering us here tonight. Thank you for uh, giving us the technology to continue to meet up and pray even during the, uh, this this time of circuit breaker, I just pray even as we go into the time of praise, your spirit will just be here and be so tangible to us that we can feel it. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. i 
possible.
There's nothing that can stop our God. There is nothing. There is nothing. There's nothing that can stop our God. There's nothing that can stop our God. There's nothing that can stop our God. There is nothing. There is nothing. Over our mountains, breaker of chains. Jesus has triumphed over the grave. Sing hallelujah. The battle is won. Nothing can stand against our God. Sing hallelujah. The battle is won. Nothing can stand against our God. Good evening, church. Let us come together as individuals and as a church to pray and to proclaim that God is king and is sovereign over this whole COVID-19 situation and in all the situations in our lives. just thank you, God, that you are God and you are sovereign. Father, we thank you that um, in the situation of our lives today, that we can trust in you, that you are in control and that you are sovereign overall. We thank you, Lord, that you are God who loves us, that we do not have to worry, but that we can trust in your character, in your nature, that you are good all the time and you love us. We proclaim that you are sovereign. We proclaim that you are in control. In Jesus' name, Amen. We are aware of the disruption that COVID-19 has brought into our lives. And during these uh, crucial times, we also think of life 
and death. And also how the ones who do not know uh, Christ, and the ones who uh, are yet to know or experience the love of God, can only know when uh, we as Christian community pray for them. Now let us uh, take some time to pray for the ones who do not know the love of Christ yet or have experienced his forgiveness yet. Let us lift them up in our prayers. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who took our place on the cross. We pray for the ones who do not know you of your unconditional love, nor they have experienced your forgiveness of sins. We pray for the salvation and pray we prompt Christians around them to go and testify your goodness in their lives. We ask for your Holy Spirit, may you bring conviction in their hearts that they may take the opportunity to accept you as Savior. And we pray, O Lord, that we grant them receptive hearts. So indeed, O Lord, they may enjoy your freedom and goodness and eternal life. We pray that may you have mercy on them, O Lord. We pray, O Lord, that we continue to reach out to them, O Lord. And also, burden us, O Lord, so that we will indeed, O Lord, hear your call and reach out to our friends, family who do not know you yet. Continue to use us, continue to help us so that we may extend your full kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray for healthcare and frontline workers, that God will protect them 
and grant them and theirs to continue with their good work. We also want to remember the sick. May they be ill because of cancer, other diseases, or COVID-19. We want to pray for their healing and comfort from the Lord. Father, we thank you for healthcare frontline workers. But we know that each day they put their lives at risk for others. We pray that you will reward them. But we pray for them that you sustain them, you give them strength, that as they serve, Lord, they continue to have endurance and patience, and that they would see you come through for them, Lord. We pray that you protect them from all sicknesses. We also want to remember all that all our um, friends and our brothers and sisters who are ill. Lord, may they have um, cancer or different sicknesses, or even a COVID-19, we pray for them, that in their time of need, your comfort and your healing will be upon them. We pray that they will see you come through for them, Lord, and that they will grow stronger in their faith in you, and for those who do not know you, that they will have an opportunity to hear of your good news. We thank you that you love us all, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us pray that we will receive grace and strength to carry on during this, uh, during and after this certain break is lifted. Pray for wisdom that people will cooperate with the government and also um, that they will obey to the, to the regulations that are set. Let us pray.
Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for who you are. And also want to thank you, Lord, because you never leave us, nor you forsake us. You have granted us your grace. And I pray, Lord, that may you help us, Lord, to extend this grace unto others as well. Especially in this new normal life we are presently facing. May you grant us, Lord, your strength to persevere. Because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Grant us wisdom, O Lord, to obey the regulations that are set by the government and the authorities. We pray a lot that may you help us so that we will cooperate. And also, Lord, pray, Lord, that you also live responsibly as well. I pray, Lord, that would you help us so that people in Singapore will not take the government for granted or the implemented measures for granted. And we'll see the good or the greater good of this nation and its well-being. We pray, Lord, may you have mercy and, de and deliver us from this COVID-19 pandemic. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The last prayer point for tonight is for the task force. As they gradually ease the circuit breaker, let us pray for wisdom. Heavenly Father, we commit the Singapore Task Force into your hands. We ask that we continue to grant them wisdom and foresight to lead this nation beyond the circuit breaker. 
May you protect and keep them under your care as they faithfully serve the nation. May you bless them and their families in all aspects of life. Father God, we have come to an end of our prayer meeting tonight. We thank you for bringing us together to pray, even though we may be in different locations of Singapore. You have given us the privilege, O Lord, to be one in your spirit. So we thank you, Lord, for this time where we could come and pray together. Thank you for hearing our prayers and our requests. Lord, in your perfect will, may you answer our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, MPCC, for joining us in this virtual prayer meeting. Hopefully, we'll see you in person in our regular monthly prayer meeting. Bye.